friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going on a book shopping adventure. I haven't done a proper book shop in quite a while. I think the last one I did was maybe in February so it's been a solid six months and I'm really excited. Personally I think that autumn is like the best reading season. I always get most excited to read then so I'm really excited to add a few new titles to my bookshelf. I've set myself a budget and we're just gonna go to the bookstore and see what we find. I'm not looking for anything too in particular but I do have one book in mind that I'd like to pick up if it's still there that I saw last time so yeah let's go have a fun time and then when we get back I'll show you everything that I got. I've been wanting to get my hands on Little Woman for a really long time. I read the abridged version when I was a girl, but I think it'd be really fun to read the full version this winter, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. I think I'm gonna get this version instead. I just kind of like how it looks a little more than the other one. to read Shirley Jackson forever and I think that autumn is the perfect time for it because her books are so spooky so I'm really really excited about this one I've heard some really amazing things about Jackson and her writing so I cannot wait to pick this one up this fall I really love Louise Erdreich's writing. I read The Plague of Doves last winter. Ulysses is something that I've been wanting to read for a while. I think it's one of those books that everyone kind of says is a bit of a monster to get through, but I think it'd be really fun to try to read sometime. So this is Something Wicked This Way Comes by Ray Bradbury. I've read several of Ray Bradbury's short stories, but I've never read any of his novels. And it's been on my autumn wish list for a really long time, so I think I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. I'm really excited, and I think that the blurb sounds really interesting. I'll read it to you guys when I get back. I have been really intrigued by, I think it's pronounced Willa Cather's novel. In particular, this one has really been interesting me, so I think I might pick it up and see if I find anything else, but I may end up getting that. I've been wanting to read Braiding Sweetgrass forever. I've been really loving nonfiction lately. I don't really know why, but I've just been craving nonfiction over fiction, so I might have to pick this up. I have quite the pile, but I'll decide once I've looked through everything, I guess. <laughs> She really, really loved it. She recommended it to me pretty highly, but I think she's gonna loan me her copy, so I'm not going to buy it today. I've also heard really phenomenal things about this one. Let's see. CJ Box is my guilty pleasure author. I love his novels, especially the Joe Pickett novels. They're just so good and outdoorsy, and my mom, my dad, and I all love them. We have like the whole collection at home. I 
I love Tana French. I've read both In the Woods and The Witch Elm, but I'd love to read more of her novels sometime. I think In the Woods is part of her like Irish Murder Squad series. I'm not sure I'm saying that right or if that's the right name, but I think there's multiple books in this series, so I'd really love to read the next one because In the Woods was a really phenomenal book. I've really been wanting to read some more Stephen King. Actually, that's a lie. Wanting to read some Stephen King. I've never read any of his fiction before. I did read his nonfiction. And I have Misery already on my shelf. In his nonfiction, he was talking about how he really liked this one, particular of his novels. I think I'd like to pick it up sometime, but I honestly feel like I have enough horror to work my way through this autumn, but maybe next year. Gosh, I love Agatha Christie. This is the most exciting section. I really shouldn't buy anything because I already have an Agatha Christie that is on my TBR pile, but... Oh my goodness, I love, love, love her writings. This looks so good. It's essentially about the few days that Agatha Christie went missing and no one knew where she went, but then she just turned up again and like the whole premise of the book is kind of fictionalizing what happened during those few days because no one really knows. I don't think Christie ever told anyone, but I feel like this could be really good, but I'm gonna wait for it to come out in paperback because hardcovers are always really expensive. <laughs> I would really like to read some Joyce Carol Oates soon. I've never read her before, but I'm really intrigued by her as an author. So. so I read Upstream by Mary Oliver last spring, and I really, really loved it. And Upstream is actually a collection of her essays, but I think Mary Oliver is more well-known for her poetry. This is, I think, the most well-known collection of her poetry devotions. And I would really, really love to pick it up sometime soon because I just loved her essays so much. But I do have a few poetry collections that I'd like to get through first before I buy anything new. This looks so cute. Look at it. Vampire stories. I love that. This section always makes me want to travel so badly. I want to visit all four of these cities. They're like so high up on my bucket list. I've actually already been to Amsterdam, but I really want to go back. It was just the most beautiful place. Alrighty, hello my friends. As you can see, I have already cracked into my new mug and I'm very excited about it. Once again, I will say I'm really sorry about my voice. It is still acting up. The doctors don't know what's wrong with it. They think it's just allergies, but I'm really sorry. I'm trying my best to keep it as smooth as possible. First things first, in terms of what I got, I obviously got this mug and I am so excited about it. I've been coveting it since I saw it last spring when I was there. It's just the perfect addition to my mug collection. I feel like I now have all the types of mugs and my collection is complete. So I'm very excited about it and I think it's just really simple and pretty. So all in all today, I ended up getting five books, even though one of them isn't really a book and then the mug and the total was about $89, I believe. I will say I haven't gone on a proper book shopping adventure for quite a while now. So I've been saving and budgeting to do a bit of a haul this autumn. So I'm really excited and thankful that I could make that happen. Let's just dive into what I got. So 
put it in this cool bag. So the first book that I got that I talked about was Little Woman by Louisa May Alcott. I read the, there's like a children's abridged classics collection that I had a ton of when I was a little girl and this was one of the ones that I read so I know the general premise of the story. And there's also the movie that came out in 2018 that was really popular that I wanted to see but I wouldn't let myself watch it until I read the actual unabridged book. I'm really really excited about this. I think it would be the sweetest novel to read around Christmas time. You're probably familiar with with Little Woman, but I will read you the synopsis just in case. The charming story of the March sisters, Little Woman, has been adored for generations. Readers have rooted for Laurie in his pursuit of Joe's hand, cried over Little Bess' untimely death, and dreamed of traveling through Europe with old Aunt March and Amy. Aspiring writers have found inspiration in Joe's devotion to her writing. In this simple, enthralling tale, Louisa May Alcott has created four of American literature's most beloved women. And I think that's true. I see people talking online all the time about how they're a Joe or a Beth or whatever, so I just think it would be really Really fun to finally read the actual story and not just the children's classics version. So that is the first novel I picked up and it was $10 which is nice. Classics are always a little bit less because they're technically public domain. The next book I picked up was Braiding Sweetgrass which I talked about really briefly in the store but this is a non-fiction book. Uh, the subtitle is indigenous wisdom, scientific knowledge, and the teachings of plants. I, like I said, have been on a huge nonfiction kick and I've actually had quite a few of you recommend this to me on Instagram or on YouTube. I am a huge nature lover, a huge plant lover. As you know, I'm always gardening and just doing nature-y things, so I do think this will be the perfect novel for me. In general, I've just heard really amazing things from people about this book, so I'm really excited to dive in. I think it'll be a really good thing for later in the autumn or maybe even winter once nature has kind of died out for the year and I'm missing all the leaves and the green, I think this will be the perfect thing to kind of boost my mood. So the synopsis is, as a botanist, Robin Wall Kimmerer has been trained to ask questions of nature with the tools of science. As a member of the citizen Potawatomi Nation, she embraces the notion that plants and animals are our oldest teachers. In Braiding Sweetgrass, Kimmerer brings these lenses of knowledge together to show that the awakening of a wider ecological consciousness requires the acknowledgement and celebration of our reciprocal relationship with the rest, for only when we can hear the languages of other beings are we capable of understanding the generosity of the earth and learning to give our own gifts in return. It just sounds really really beautiful so I'm super excited to read it and so glad that I finally got my hands on it. This was $20 so a little bit more on the pricier side but the next book I picked up is We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson and I'm so 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 excited about this one. As I was saying in the store, I've been wanting to read one of Shirley Jackson's novels forever. She's written several, I think. The Haunting of Hill House is another one. This is actually the only one they had on the shelf. I think this is her most well-known and I'm really really excited to read it. A friend of mine on Instagram, Katie, is like a die-hard Shirley Jackson lover so she's been convincing me to read her forever so I'm really excited to finally have my hands on a copy and this is going to be the perfect spooky read for like October. I can't wait. This was $17. So the last book that I got is Something Wicked This Way Comes by Ray Bradbury. As I was saying in the store, I've read several of Ray Bradbury's short stories and I really, really love them. They're just so phenomenally well done and I find that his short stories are the ones that are most memorable. Like I think about them, I remember them even years and years later. And I've seen this one on the shelves at this bookstore for as long as I've been going there and I've always thought that would be a really good read for October and now it's finally fall and I was like, Faith, you just have to get it. This is the synopsis. For those yet to experience the hypnotic power of its dark poetry, step inside. The show is about to begin. Cougar and Dark's pandemonium shadow show has come to Greentown, Illinois to destroy every life touched by its strange and sinister mystery. The carnival rolls in sometime after midnight, ushering in Halloween a week early. A Calliope's shrill siren song beckons to all with a seductive promise of dreams and youth regained. Two boys will discover the secret of its smoke, mazes, and mirrors. Two friends who will soon know all too well the heavy cost of wishes and the stuff of nightmares. Oh my gosh, that is even better sounding than I thought it would be. I am going to read this literally on October 1st. I'm so excited. <laughs> that was $18. So the last thing I picked up is this little guy. It's not a book. It is a guide to wildflowers. This was in the kind of agricultural section or I guess the horticultural section and I just was kind of enamored with it when I saw it. I really love wandering around in the spring and summertime and especially looking at and collecting all those flowers to dry and I thought this would just be the most exciting and perfect thing for me to take along on my little wanders. It's very small so it fits in a bag or a pocket and 
I'm very, very excited about it. I think it will be fun also to kind of try to practice some illustrations out of the novel, out of the guide, and yeah, I really like it. They do make a version of for like other things, like there were mammals and birds, I think, that were also available in this size and guide, but I decided to go with the wildflowers and I'm very, very excited. This was only $9 because it's obviously not a full book. So yeah, that is everything that I picked up for my fall book haul. I am so, so very excited about these and I honestly just have a renewed inspiration to read so that I can get to all of these in the next couple of months. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. That particular bookstore is just my absolute favorite in the world. I never thought I would find something like that in a small town where I go to school and it's just my little oasis and I love going there and especially supporting them by purchasing their books. I hope you enjoyed tagging along with me to one of my most favorite places in the world and that it gave you some cozy and bookish vibes for your week ahead. Thank you for being here, dear friends, and if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and comment your most anticipated read for fall. Mine, I can say most definitively, is now Something Wicked This Way Comes. I think it's gonna be so good. So yeah, I will see you soon, and thank you for being here. Bye, friends.